Hi, this is Tommy Hall with MathNook.com, and I'm here to show you how our telling time clock application works. It's available for download at www.MathNook.com in the Teaching Tools section. When you first start up the application, it's in Show Mode, and this allows you to change the time on the clock by either grabbing the hour hand or the minute hand, and as you do, the time changes accordingly in the box below. In Quiz Mode, you're able to quiz on the time, and if I set the time to 8.30 here, and say the student guessed say 820 click the shape button it indicates it's that the answer is actually 830 if I set the time to 8 o'clock and the student guesses 8 o'clock click the check button they get a check mark to indicate that the answer is correct now although the uh, you can enter the time via the keyboard in these boxes here we've tried to make this application interactive whiteboard friendly so that you can uh, by using these arrows you can change the time. In random mode, a random time is generated and the student is to uh, set the time generated here on the clock. So it's 11.41, let's go ahead and choose say 11.40, click the check button and it says no, that actually I've uh, set 11.40 and I need to try again. Let's go ahead and set the right answer, click the check button, get a check mark and a new random time. Now when you first started in random mode it's, uh, the time generated is in one minute increments. If you'd like five minute increments you can ch check this radio button here and the time generated will always be in five minute increments. This, uh, this application is highly customizable. If you click the uh, move mode here that allows you to move anything on the screen so you can customize it to the way you like you can uh, click the resize button and resize anything on the screen. If I click the clock here it gets extremely large and as it, as it does it doesn't lose any resolutions resolution, the graphics stay sharp. This makes it ideal for large displays and interactive whiteboards. You can also, if you don't like the control panel on there, you can hit the C button on the keyboard and make it disappear. That's how our application works. I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching.